in what we've got planned here at Sheffield Christian Life Centre because there's loads. If you've got a passion for young people, for children, for young adults, for old people, for just people in general, because we've got a passion for people in general here, then why don't you come and see us or come and see us at the end at the info point and get to know what you can get involved in today. As a church, we are on the brink of some amazing things that are happening in the future. We have purchased a brand new building just up the road that we are currently renovating so that we can cross over and move into in February of next year. And we are super excited. The builders are in there right now. But you know what? These things that are going to input the community for our church and our people of the community aren't going to happen without prayer and specifically without prayer and fasting. The Bible talks about how important prayer and fasting is. So I want to invite you to join us on Sunday the 1st of October right through until Saturday the 7th of October for a whole week of prayer and fasting. And that be however you want to fast, whether it's food, whether it's TV, I don't know. But we just want to invite you to join us as a church to pray and to fast and to seek God and to just ask him for his ultimate blessing and his ultimate favor over all the things that we want to do in the future to bless our community because that is what we're all about as a church. And so we're going to be having early morning prayer meetings every day from 7.30 a.m. just for an hour. And on Tuesday at 7.45 here at the centre, we're not going to be having any life groups that week. We want to invite you all to come here to join together in corporate prayer together. And then on Friday lunchtime at 12.30 till 1.30pm, why don't you come join us and we're going to pummel the gates of heaven and stand in the gap for what we believe God has called us to do to input into our community and bring the good news and bring salvation and bring love and generosity to the people of Handsworth.